This is a video intended for Bonnie Stett, the mighty owner of Miss Lulu herself. Well, Bon, we took uh, Miss Lulu down to Morven Park Horse Trials this morning. Uh, I actually went down in a car last night, walked the courses, and then we had a, a very, very early morning ride. Lulu was uh, very good in all three phases. She, this is sort of her second attempt at the intermediate level. Obviously, our first attempt didn't go so well at Pine Top a couple of weeks ago, but she was much, much better this weekend. She was super confident in the jumping, uh, you know, jumped the, the show jumping well and the cross country, so that was great. And the dressage, is, as usual, is a work in progress. She is getting better. She's a, a little bit hot and spicy, uh, especially at these events where you sort of just arrive the morning of the show. And I actually gave her a bit of a pre-ride first thing in the morning uh, before the competition started, just for 20 minutes, just to get a bit of uh, energy out of her. And I have to say, she's sort of 50% of it, she's a bit hot and gets nervous at the competitions, and then the other 50%, she's still very, very green at these new movements, um, especially in the canter work. Um, yeah, she's a good girl, but she sometimes over tries or overthinks things. And then in the walk, she gets a, a little bit hot as well. So anyway, what my game plan is, Bon, is to just gently keep chipping away at these intermediate horse trials, and we'll do a three-star short coming up somewhere soon. And I think without running her legs off, she just gets needs to get confident and relaxed at this level. Um, and she's just got to understand what a shoulder is in, in is and a haunch is in and can a walk, walk can a yada yada yada. Now the best moment of our dressage test is about to come up here. We got a nine for our halt. That was a bloody good halt. Given it at a 9.5. The extended walk was good here. Her part of she knows the can is coming up, so as I shorten the reins up from extended walk to medium walk, she started anticipating a, a can of work. Now for sure, that we took her to Ohio jumping uh, two weeks ago to the World Equestrian Centre in Wilmington, Ohio, and. Uh, we jumped, let's see, just three or four rounds there, and for sure that really helped her actually today in the show jumping, which you'll see in a moment. She just jumped really confident and um, really worked well. And we see her starting to anticipate the, uh, the canner. And unfortunately, tiny little bubbles like that gives us a, a four for our medium walk, which crushes our score, sadly. Eric uh, Devander helping me earlier this week uh, on Monday and Tuesday. We did um, flat work on Monday and then he helped me cross country school her on, on Tuesday. Uh, she was awesome. Now, this is supposed to be a can of walk, and uh, Lulu thinks she's doing the prelim test and a can of trot. So, that was uh, again a green mistake. Unfortunately, the uh, judges gave us a bit of a harsh mark there as well. I think I'll try and find another just sort of straightforwardish intermediate. Um, hopefully, three or four weeks' time, she's uh, trotting up really well, and she's been very, very healthy. And I just feel like the next six months, she's just got to get acclimated to this newer level. The great thing with today is that the feeling she gave me cross country. She was, she's. She doesn't have a massive stride, but she, man, she's quick and she's sharp. And she's a little bit spooky too, so you don't have to... She's not strong when you come to the jumps. You can just um, stay quite light in your hand and she backs up. And it was a tough enough course. There was um, a left corner, a right corner, a skinny. 
one stride hedges. Obviously, this is the show jumping, and um, man, she's starting to be very, very reliable in the show jumping. She's still a little bit spooky, but in a weird kind of way, the spookiness actually gets her up in the air a bit more. Shaw's very, very careful, great technique. I feel, um, I don't know, I just feel like she's really coming around and ready to crack on to be a big time horse. My plan is to, you know, give her a nice easy day or two early next week and then just gently keep chipping away at everything, especially the dressage. Like I said at the beginning, it's a lot of it is more her just getting an understanding for all the new movements and not sort of, you know, when she doesn't quite understand it, she gets herself into a bit of a, you know, gets, gets a little bit fizzy over complicating things but this is the cross country and she was great ground was great I think we had like five time penalties so I don't know about 15 or 20 seconds over the time which the good thing is she's lightning fast so I think that time, you know the speed and the endurance and all that stuff is going to be um, no prop at all but there's no point in going flat out at, at these events they're more sort of training events anyway everything seems to be getting better and better Bond and um, keep chipping away at her training and uh, find another event for her in I don't know three weeks or four weeks or something like that anyway hope you well take care of yourself Bond